Hello butterflies, I have some very exciting news to report. Please join me in the room I have dedicated to this project. This is a room I've dedicated to this project for a long time now. It's sort of an extra bedroom. In this room is the first asset, organizational asset, acquired for the butterfly effect experiment. And it might not be very impressive to you, however, it makes me very happy because it is our first asset. And here it is. It's a whiteboard. <laughs> And as you can see, it's not a brand new whiteboard. <laughs> it's a used whiteboard that has nostalgic, nostalgic value to me. I taught on this whiteboard. I remember it with its duct tape. Uh, I taught on this whiteboard back at um, the language center. And I put out a message. I was going to buy a, a new whiteboard or two. And I decided before I buy one, let me see, you know, what I can do. And I sent out a message to a bunch of organizations and people I know who are involved in stuff. And I said, does anybody have a whiteboard to donate to me? I need a whiteboard. Two people said no. One person said, have you checked with someone else? And another person who I was not expecting... I uh not necessarily expecting to donate it to me donated it to me and that was um the uh former former head of a organization where I started the garden the language center where I started my our garden for them and for refugees and for me and I taught English and Greek and now this whiteboard is going to be used once again to teach because uh, the organization is going to have need to, to teach languages. It's going to need to teach Greek and English. Those are the two, only two languages it's, it's going to teach. And we also have here some clothing that I have stockpiled given to me by friends and neighbors that I have stockpiled to distribute to asylum seekers or and also people who have received asylum and are not getting uh, any benefits from the government any longer but don't have jobs either and could use some free things so there's some good clothes in here for them mostly men's clothes there is a little bit of women's clothes not much at all and um, pretty soon, because of the restrictions coming down, I'll finally be able to go and like distribute these without fear of uh, breaking the law. So that's great. So these are two things that are very important to me and the organization. They may seem very minor to you, but it's big news for me. And I'm very happy about it. I hope you are too.